Yes, the big fight for Nathan Corbett, Champions of Champions Part 2, and it's happening in Jamaica. It's all thanks to Richard Stevenson and his company at RiseArc. You can check it all out, RiseArc.com. There's links to all the different sites. It's going to be absolutely amazing in Jamaica, and at the end of the day, all the money raised goes towards buying the kids over there, the youth computers at school, so they can help them out, and it's a pretty awesome charity event with the golf thing and everything. So there's Nathan being filmed for a TV show that they've been putting together. And uh, it was great to catch up with Richard outside the gym and have a quick chat. All right, here we are outside the gym. Richard, how are you? I'm wonderful. Welcome to Australia. Oh, man, it's beautiful. I've always wanted to be here, particularly coming from a cricketing background. <laughs> Is that right? Well, let me ask you about your background. Where did you grow up? Yeah, Jamaica. Okay. Uh, West Indian, man, in the, in, in the great days to when we were number one. Yeah. Viv Richards. Pretty Jill good team. Anna. Yeah, 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 that was the time. Do you reckon those days are going to come back? And just quickly on that, why do you think it's been the last 10 years that West Indies cricket has kind of changed a bit? Uh, we got cocky. Really? Took it for granted and start focus on the foundation. Okay. The other countries have picked up. In fact, I know Australia started a lot of the greats. We've Richards, Clive Light to put their unit system together. We're still living off past glory. <laughs> <laughs> but we're making a turn. We're making a turn. Yeah, we're we're a big fan of Chris Gale. I think they're going to go all right. Yeah, we're starting to refocus. Uh, all right. Well, well, let me ask you a little bit about your story. Like how? I mean, you're here in Australia now, and and why you've got your big fight card in Jamaica. Tell us about how that came to be. Your, your charity event. Well, this is our fifth year. Uh, basically, about five years ago, my wife and I you know, decided that our son at his age could run rings, and my son is 16 now, he could run rings around any kid in Jamaica, because basically they weren't getting exposed to computers and they, until they got, got to high school, which is like 14, 15, yeah. which is too late. So we decided that we we're going to place computer learning centers in all of the primary schools in Jamaica. There are 400 of them. We have now gone through 100. And we, you know, we're trying to get the other 300 done in the next two, three years. Good for you, man. So I'm actually sure where I ask people about chasing dreams and stuff. You growing up, what was your dream when you were a young taker in Jamaica? You know, it's it, it's interesting. Uh, my my first love, of course, was cricket. And I remember when I got to um, 17 or 18, I got called for the for the on the 19 side, which is which is a pretty yeah. decent opening bat. Yeah. And my dad looked at me and he said, "Okay, you can go." play cricket but I'm gonna burn the bats the pads etc because if you look at at that time if you look at uh, every time a cricketer retired they would do a benefit for them so that means they're broke right. so just get back to school so <laughs> I focus on becoming an accountant <laughs> okay and then that took you where to the States no that actually I studied in uh, Jamaica University of the West Indies and then London School of Accountancy in London England and uh, basically just went to the state and wrote CPA exams so I never studied in the state just wrote the exams there okay so tell us a little bit more about the event, because hopefully I'll be there filming and everything, and I've seen some stuff on the website, it looks pretty amazing. Well, the event is fantastic. Uh, you've got five events over four days. First night we do a culture show, which is where we showcase Jamaica and its culture. The Thailand has promised they're going to bring a show and act also this year, so we're going to mark those, mark, put those two together. Uh, second day we do a press conference where we go to the primary schools themselves, and we also do a celebrity program. So for all the golfers, this is a golf tournament that we do with the celebrities, the likes of Cedric the Entertainer, Marcus Allen, Chris Tucker, etc. Those guys all come down and, and hang out with us. Uh, the Thursday night, we have a comedy show starring uh, Cedric the Entertainer. That'll be fun. And he's bringing all of his four or five <laughs> friends with him and uh, have a re really exciting evening. Friday morning, you get to sleep in a little bit, and then Friday afternoon, it's Beach Town. We have uh, 20, 30 models, the finest, that come down. So, Beach Town from 1 to 5. Did I say I'm looking forward to be there? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. So, Beach Town from 1 to 5. Friday night is, of course, the great Muay Thai fight where we bring in. We have uh, fighters from 10 countries across the world. They're all the best. It's the top 20 fighters in the world that come together and meet for uh, 10 world title fights. And then, uh, Saturday morning, we have a made for television. Uh, celebrity tournament, celebrity pro tournament that's made for the Golf Channel. Yeah. There should be two teams, Ryder Cup style, the 24 players that we play, and then Saturday night we finish with the Grand Gala. So it's 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 a super super four days. And all that raising money for kids with the computers over there. All that for the kids. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah, good for you, man. Well, I hope it's a huge success again, and uh, thanks for the chat. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Great to be here. Yeah, so there's Richard there, a cool guy, and what a great concept. All the best fighters in the world, Tyrone Spong versus Nathan Corbett. It's going to be awesome, and I really had no idea what was happening on the day after jumping in Nathan's car, so I turned the camera on. What's going on? You came and got me this morning, I had no idea, and now it's all happening. It's exciting stuff, Togs, you know, we've got the film crew over from LA coming here, they're doing a, they're doing a six show series for the American audience to pretty much pump this gym at the show in June in Jamaica. Um, so they've got a few few poster people, a few like uh, featured people in it, they've got myself and uh, they've got John Wayne. 
and they've actually got one of the uh, the girls who's a superstar fighter as well in America that she's fighting, Angela Parr actually on that show. So they've come out here, sort of backing up what they did five weeks ago, filming us in Thailand. They've come to Australia, our hometown, and they're just filming a little bit about our, a little bit about us. And so myself is more about. Um, you know what? I, what? I, who? The, who I am outside of the ring. You know, when I'm not fighting, when I'm not training, what do I do um, with my personal life and and such? So, yeah, just capturing that, getting excited, and then just gene it up for America TV. So it's going to be big. It's big time. That's all I can say. It's it's great for the sport and it's great for Nathan Corbett. So I'm happy. Yeah. So the carnage being beamed out there to a huge audience in the states, and uh, there he is there at Burley Hill, and I took the time. While well, I was there to meet Kyle, Richard's son, and have a quick chat on the web show. How are you, buddy? Good. How are you? Welcome to Australia. Thank you. First time here? Yep. Having fun? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you told me before about some of the places you've been, right? Tell us, tell us, everyone out there, how many countries you've visited so far? Too many to count. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. So where's your favorite spot? Jamaica so far. Why is that? Because there's a bunch of hot girls there. <laughs> <laughs> Where else around the world have you seen some hot girls? You haven't been in Australia long enough to see many, have you? True, true. Yeah. But you know, I'm still a bachelor, ladies. Oh, uh, look out. All right, now, so tell us about you. I mean, your dad's got this great thing going on. You must travel around a lot and be involved in that. Yep. I'm very much involved in that. I do video editing for them also. Sweet. Well, I love asking people about dreams and stuff. That's the focus of my show. So what's the ultimate dream for you? Have you worked it out yet? Not yet. No. Nope. I wish I had the... Yeah? No inkling for what you think you might want to do? Something video or make movies or something? Yeah, video editing for movies. Okay, cool. So you live in LA? Yep. What's life like in LA? Hollywood. Really? Yep. <laughs> so is it everything it looks like on TV or cracked up to be? No. No? Different? Yes. Yeah. It, I, uh, it's a lot more fake than you would think it is on TV. Yeah. Like if you're walking down Hollywood, you never know what you might see. You could see transsexuals. You could see guys that look like girls. You could see a whole bunch of things. <laughs> That'd be pretty fascinating, wouldn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, I can imagine. That's why you got to look for an Adam's apple every time you're talking to a girl in LA. Okay, all right. Now you teased me before because we met and you were saying that you, there's only one continent you haven't been to yet. So what is? Which one's that? Antarctica. Think you'll get there? Maybe one day. I think I'm going to focus on getting there, though, for the fact of the matter is that I could say that I've been to all seven continents. Good for you. Yeah. Well, good to meet you, Kyle. All the best with it. Thank you. Yeah, so it's always fun getting all kinds of people, ages and demographics and everything on the web show as someone tries to pull into a burly monster. We made a drive down about 10 minutes south to the uh, Kurumban Wildlife Sanctuary. It's where you can check out all the koalas. Nathan there holding one there for some photos and of course the kangaroos, all the different wildlife that Australia has. It's a pretty awesome part of the world and uh, pretty fun to check out Nathan. Not doing too well feeding the emus. Such a jab. Yeah, this might be prehistoric. Yeah, almost. Mm-hmm. Who's your hairdresser? Oh, there's some baby kangaroos. Oh, See, I don't like these birds. I never did. <laughs> I used to run from them when I was a kid. I'm out of here. Yeah, so that's the first time I've seen the carnage back away from someone. A big emu there at the Kurumban Wildlife Sanctuary. It was a good day being down there with the guys, particularly from the States, filming it all. So there you go. And uh, once again, a big thank you to Richard, Kyle, and the crew. RiseArc.com. You can check out all the different links heading towards the big fights and golf charity day in Jamaica. All raising money for the kids over there to get some computers. So uh, rock on. Erase.